Hello everybody, my name's the one, the only, Ouija Reaction, and today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do a movie review on a long, a wait a minute, I've been waiting for a full long, long time, that movie, ladies and gentlemen, it's called... Venom, 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 you know what hit him, let them be carnage, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 oh. I was so, so excited to watch this movie, because if you guys don't know it, I'm a first to Twitter. I was so, so excited, because when I first see carnage, I was in, I was completely in. And if you guys don't know, that the places in YouTube channel will release an exclusive clip of carnage go on a web page in the jail, and... Oh, 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 I was all the way in. I was all the way in. I was so, so excited to watch this movie. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a movie review on Venom 2. Let them be comments, ladies and gentlemen. Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it K? Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, because today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a movie review on Venom 2. Let them be comments, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's get this out of the way. This Venom, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage is clearly better than the first Venom. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the heck out of the first Venom. The fight scenes, the comedy, the humor, the characters, the cast, everything about that movie was absolutely fantastic. But the one problem, the main problem I have with that movie is clearly the villain. I did not enjoy the villain as much as this one, because if you guys don't know, the villain in this movie is, of course, Carnage, ladies and gentlemen. And ho ho ho, boy, baby, Carnage was way better than the last Venom in the first Venom because in my opinion I did not enjoy the villain in the last the first Venom movie but overall I still have a blast watching the first Venom. I thought it was good and easily one of my favorite like technically my side favorite Marvel movies because you guys don't know that he, he, he isn't because the first Venom is, is in the Marvel Universe timeline. Always find out. <laughs> because today ladies and gentlemen we are going to talk talk about this movie because Oh boy, the ending scene, the end credits. This movie will contain, not this movie, this movie view will contain a lot, I mean a lot of spoilers that is in this movie. If you guys have not watched Venom 2, let there be cards, please leave this video right now and go watch the movie for yourself. But if you guys have watched Venom 2, let there be carnage. I hope you guys enjoy this movie review, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys know, this movie begins off with, of course, um, Connors himself, aka Cassidy. Um, you guys know that Woody Harrelson plays Connors, and oh, he did a fantastic job. The movie begins him talking to his fiance, aka his girlfriend, called this. I don't know, I forgot her name, but I call the screamer. If you guys know, the whole power is, of course, um, like vibration, but she screams so so loud because if you guys know, we're all gonna talk about what happened in almost an end of the um, third act, okay, the conclusion of Venom 2. If you guys know, she was fixing to transform into, like, a hospital, like, a safe hospital so that she won't escape. And while transporting, um, her, um, she actually made, she actually caused a car accident. And after that accident, she, um, we better find out she is sealed in a, like, glass box that is, like, a bodyproof glass box, I believe, that if she tries to scream, it won't break. So that's how the movie begins. And after that movie begins, we get to another scene where it ended up with the first one and the end credit scene because if you guys don't know that it completely changes hell with his house in hell because if you guys don't know that hell <laughs> when I first saw his hell in the end credits in the first one I completely laughed laugh my laugh <laughs> I completely laughed my butt off <laughs> because you can tell it's clearly a wig <laughs> but thank goodness it actually changes hell because he looks fantastic <laughs> So if you guys know the movie begins with Eddie decided to talk to him, um, Woody, uh, I, I know the fuck I sound called him Woody, <laughs> not for Toy Story, <laughs> he decided to interview him like the, like the end of the first Venom, if you guys don't know that um, Venom is still with Eddie, if you guys don't know that Eddie and Venom's relationship is gotta be one of my favorite things about this movie, because you guys don't know that on uh, Anna, I think that's her name, Anna, um, Eddie's fiance, um, got a proposal to um, ho, um, boyfriend. Um, you guys don't know that Venom hates that guy. <laughs> he hates that guy. And while, um, he, why Eddie was upset, we get, we get to see a little nice, cute scene about 
Um, Bam said, I will always be there for you, and no matter what happens, I will always stick by your side. I was like, oh, that's cute. If you guys know, the relationship between Eddie and Venom was absolutely cute and amazing in this movie. And if you guys don't know, how did Ben, how did, um, Woody get uh, the symbiote, aka Connor? So if you guys know, that we actually see in the trail, but in the movie, when, um, when Eddie was talking to him, um, he brought up Eddie's, um, Father, his parents, he, and Venom got very, very, very mad. He said, "What do you say?" And then um, he decided to bit um, um, Eddie's um, finger. And then he said, "I tasted blood before, and that is not blood." And that's how he got carnage and carnage in this movie. He was insane. Because if you guys don't know that, we all thought that this movie was gonna be way off. But no, it's been confirmed that this movie. Was PG thirteen? But in my opinion, yes, it, I wish it was. Sh I, yes, I wish it should be way up because it would make this movie ten times better. Don't, don't get me wrong, this movie was always fantastic. But I think, in my opinion, it should be way up because if you guys don't know that, it definitely stayed it F for a lot in this movie, like, like three or four times. Or we don't know because if you guys don't know at the end of the movie, spoiler in three, two, one, the final conclusion of the fight scenes between Eddie and, and of course Venom and Carnage. Oh, that is clearly the best part about this movie. <laughs> that is clearly the best part about this movie. If you guys don't know that, of course, Venom won. If you guys don't know that, um, Woody, aka, um, Conan said, all I want from you, Eddie, is my respect for you, aka, friendship, and Eddie said, I'm so sorry. And then while, um, and then Venom said, F this guy, and he clearly killed him. <laughs> oh, Venom was so good in this movie, man. I clearly love Venom in this movie. If you guys know, I'm a huge, huge, huge Venom fan. And this movie made Venom so, so, so good. In my opinion, I like this one better than the first one. Technically. <laughs> because if you guys don't know, I love both Venoms. The first Venom, oh, of course, with Eddie, it was fantastic. And this Venom was absolutely fantastic. And we don't talk about Venom in Spider-Man 3 because, yeah, it was sad. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people were actually talking trash between Carnage and the relationship between the Screamer. But in my opinion, I don't have any problems with the relationship. I thought it was just a fine relationship, a better relationship than any romantic movies. Because if you guys don't know that I hated romantic movies, you guys don't wonder why I don't like it. Because the relationship because it always gets to a fight about something stupid. But in this one, I actually like it because you guys don't know that he tells um the Screamer said don't make any sound. Because if you guys don't know, while um he break um the Screamer out. And Screamer decides to use her powers to escape, and, uh, and um, he decided to tell her that don't use any vibration or any of your powers because that would cause Carnage a lot of mad. And Carnage said, "If she does that one more time, I'm literally gonna kill her." And she did. He did. <laughs> he almost did it. He almost did. While um, they were getting married, oh, you guys don't know that Carnage decided to kidnap um. On, uh -uh, okay, um, Eddie's fiance, ex fiance, and they were getting married. Um, Carnage and um, the Screamer was getting ready to get married until um, Venom decided to stop the party. And <laughs> we, we, we saw this in the train and said, Oh, and he said, Oh, the S4. He said, That is a what, what? <laughs> if you guys are wanting, Venom did say, Oh, yeah. But not in that scene. I was kind of disappointed, but I was at least we get to see Venom say, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love Venom saying that. It was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but I think the um one part that I left my butt up is when you guys don't know that um Eddie and um Venom got into a fight and Venom decided to um go someone else and then while he was going to another person's body, Venom literally flicked off. <laughs> he flicked off. <laughs> oh, like Venom. Venom, the monster. <laughs> Flick off. <laughs> I love my bomb. Even in this one scene where Venom was at a party with a bunch of glow sticks, I was like, nice. <laughs> because he, when, he, when he was wearing all the glow sticks, he was actually looks pretty good with all the glow sticks. <laughs> But yeah, the fight scene is clearly better than the um, final fight scene from the first film between um, Wyatt and Venom. Don't get me wrong, Wyatt was a massacre, but Carnage, Carnage was way better than um, Wyatt. <laughs> oh boy, like he, he was something. <laughs> like he was something. Like Carnage was absolutely scary. And while they were fighting, while um, Venom was down, Carnage said, let them be Carnage. I was like, oh, oh, yes, 
Yes, Connor, say it. <laughs> say it. Oh, yes. I had a blast watching this movie. And now, ladies and we are going to talk about the elephant in the womb. Big spoiler. If you guys want to, don't want to hear this spoiler, leave this video at once and watch this video right now. Okay, watch this movie right now. Three, two, one. Let's get started, ladies and If you guys want to, Eddie and Venom were at a, like a little hotel, okay, an apartment. They were watching a Spanish Mexican woman. <laughs> they were talking about, of course, they were talking about we had to stay low because, guys, you know, I think the FBI was still looking for them. Until something happened. Until, like, something magically happened. It could teleport to somehow. And Venom and Eddie said, did you do it? And Venom said, I did nothing. What's going on? Until the TV was on. And I completely lost my mind. Like, if you guys know though, that me and Maya and my dad went to watch this movie and my dad was laughing and said, oh, that's cool. And I, I was, me and Mario were, we were complete in shock. It was Jane Jim Jameson talking about Spider-Man. <laughs> Peter Parker, Tom Holland. And it's been confirmed that Venom is now in the MCU. <laughs> Oh my goodness! If you guys don't know, I was in shock. Like, completely in shock. I was like, oh. We are finally getting to see Venom vs. Spider-Man! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this movie, I had a blast. I had a freaking blast. Even the new song, you guys don't know, in the last, in the last Venom movie, we got Enemy Man singing Venom, 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 Man. That song was absolutely fantastic. And then this song, um, Last One Standing, was actually a pretty good song. It was actually a relaxing song, and you can actually feel the beat like, Last One Standing. If you guys want to listen to the song, leave this question below, because actually, I'm a big fan of the song, actually. Oh boy, this movie was crazy. I had a blast. I got actually got nothing wrong with this movie. It did uh, the humor, the comedy, the cast, the characters, everything about this movie. It did everything good. Better than the first one, actually. Because if you guys know, of course, I did not like the villain. But overall, I had a blast watching Let There Be Carnage. The story was good. The characters, the cast was absolutely outstanding. The action scenes, the humor, everything about it was absolutely fantastic. But overall, I have to give this movie easily a 9.5 out of 10. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 because I, re I want to rewatch this movie again to see if this movie deserves a 10 out of 10. But overall, I have to give this movie easily a 9.5 out of 10. So, guys, that is my movie of Venom 2. Let them be conscious. If you guys have seen this movie, what you guys think of this movie? Let me comments below. If you guys have any movies you want to do a review on, let me comments below. Make you guys like, subscribe, like my other videos. See you guys in the next video. Venom, 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 Venom. No one, no one hit him. <laughs> Oh, I love that song. <laughs> that song is... I'm addicted to that song. <laughs> Peace out.